Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to make this CSS3 only clock animation. Hey, before we continue, please do check out my online course where I teach you how to design and develop responsive website from scratch with lots of features and beautiful animations. It is only 10 euros or dollars uh, for a full course. So yes, please do check that out. Link is in the description below. Thanks. So let me refresh the web page one more time and show you the animation and tell you more about it. So as you can see, we have a uh, this minimalistic looking clock, which is spinning fast and giving impression of time moving fast and it is also moving towards us a bit and once the clock animation has finished then this heading appears which in this case says it's time and that is what we're going to be coding today so again CSS3 only animation and by the way I will provide all of these resources for you in the description below including the final code and all of the images that you will need Okay, so let's open up our code editor. We will start with a blank HTML document as usual. First of all, in the body, let's place in a div, give it a class equal to section, and this will be our container for our animation, or in other words, that black background that you saw there. This is going to be that element. Inside of this section element, first of all, let's place in h1 heading, give it a class equal to clock heading and the text for it will be it's time. After this h1 heading let's place in a div, give it a class equal to clock wrapper and this will be wrapping element for all of our various parts of a clock. So this uh, div will hold all of our images for base of the clock and all of the hands of a clock. Then we can place in IMG or image element inside of a clock wrapper. Give it a class first of all clock IMG. This class will be common for all of those images inside of our clock wrapper. And the second class for this image will be equal to clock. And this will be the image of a base for our clock and the source will be equal to clock PNG. And what we can do is highlight this image, copy it and paste it three more times. And next three images will be the clock's hands. So first image will be hours hand, second one will be minutes hand, and third one will be seconds hand. So for the second IMG, let's change clock class to hours and source will be equal to hours png. For the next image let's change the second class to minutes and source to minutes png. And for the last image let's change the class to seconds and source to seconds png. We can save this document and have a look at it in the browser, refresh it, and as you can see we have our content placed in and the next thing is we're going to style it and place in those animations. Now that we have all of our content placed in we can style it so let's open up our code editor, our document and let's start writing CSS. So first of all let's make a basic reset as always, set the margin and padding to zero, then let's target our section its height will be 800 pixels. Let's give it a margin bottom of 500 pixels so that we can just scroll our web page and see how it looks. Uh, give it a background color of 000. That's a black color. Let's set the overflow to hidden and we need to set it in because if various parts of a clock are overflowing our section element we want them to be hidden and not interfere with other elements that we might have on our web page. Then let's set font family to Tetelium web. Let's fall back to Calibri and sans serif. Then let's target our clock heading. Give it a color equal to white. Let's align the text to center give it a font weight of 100, font size will be 60 pixels and give it a margin top of 100 pixels so that it has some breathing room. Then let's set the opacity equal to 1 and let's transform this clock heading and translate it 3D 
and all of these three properties that is x y z will be equal to zero and the reason why we are setting in this opacity and transform properties because here we need to style elements how they will look once the animation has finished so once the animation has finished we want the opacity be equal to one because we want our heading to be visible and we want to transform it to its original position as you might remember the animation for heading is that it is sliding up and it is fading in so the final position will be zero 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 for this transform then let's target our clock wrapper position for it will be relative the width will be 400 pixels and the height will be 400 pixels as well then let's give it a margin the top margin will be 100 pixels left and right auto to center align it in the web page and bottom margin will be zero and also for this clock wrapper as for our heading let's transform it we'll scale it and scale it to 1.4 or 40 percent and let's translate it 3d will not move it by x-axis but we will transform it 100 pixels by y-axis and again this is how it is going to look once the animation has finished then let's target clock IMGs which are inside of our clock wrappers those are various uh, images of a clock let's give it a position of absolute and it will be absolute to clock wrapper because we set it equal to relative previously and we want to set this uh, clock image position to absolute because we want all of our images to be stacked on top of each other because otherwise it wouldn't look like a proper clock right and let's give it a width of 100 percent and it will be 100 percent of clock wrappers width which is 400 pixels and height will be auto then let's target our clock image and specifically clock image with hours class that will be our clock hours hand and again here we want to set in how it is going to look once the animation has finished so what we're going to do is transform it and we're going to rotate it and the final position of this element will be 120 degrees so let's place it in then we can just copy it and paste it two more times then right here let's change the hours class to minutes and let's rotate it by 1470 degrees and again this will be the final look or final position of our clock minutes hand and for the third one let's change the class to seconds and its rotate value will be 26 thousand six hundred and ten because if you would imagine clock then seconds hand is moving the fastest the minutes is between and hours clock hand is moving the slowest and what we can do is save it have a look at it in the browser refresh our browser and as you can see we have it looking nicely and the next and final thing we need to do is set in those animations so let's open up our code editor and we will start with animating our clock heading animation so at zero percent let's set the opacity to zero because we want at the start the heading to be invisible or hidden and let's transform it translate it 3d and let's translate it by y-axis by 100 pixels then let's place in 90 percent mark because we want this heading to appear just at the last moment it will be the same as for zero percent mark so we can just copy it and paste that code and for the 100 percent mark or the final stage of animation is opacity will be equal to one and let's transform it translate it 3d and all three properties will be equal to zero and let's place in that animation for clock heading so animation equal to clock heading animation animation will happen over 10 seconds and function will be ease then let's place in clock wrapper animation right here let's set at keyframes clock animation and at zero mark we want the transform property be equal to scale and the value will be one so it will be kind of smaller 
version of our clock or original size of our clock and all three translate 3d properties will be equal to zero and at 100% mark transform it scale it to 1.4 or 40% and Y property of translate 3d will be equal to 100 pixels so basically what this animation will do is move the clock towards us or scale it make it bigger and move it down by 100 pixels then let's find our clock wrapper and set the animation equal to clock animation and again 10 seconds and the function will be ease then right here where we targeted our hours hand let's place in keyframes the name for this animation will be hours animation at 0% let's rotate it by 0 degrees and at 100% mark let's rotate it by 120 degrees and right here let's set the animation equal to hours animation and it will happen over 10 seconds and the function will be ease then after minutes again let's place in keyframes the name will be minutes animation and for a 0% mark we will rotate it by 30 degrees that will be the start of our animation and at 100% mark let's rotate it by 1470 degrees and let's place in that animation equal to minutes animation 10 seconds and ease and last thing is let's set that seconds animation in so at keyframes seconds animation will be the name of it at 0% we will rotate it by 210 degrees and at 100% mark or once the animation is finished it will be rotated by 26,000 610 degrees and let's place in that animation 10 seconds and ease so we can save it open up our browser and let's just refresh it and yes as you can see we have this cool looking and pretty awesome and i think unique animation so that is going to be it hope you enjoyed it hope you liked it if you did please like it and subscribe if you already haven't done it and if you have any questions regarding this tutorial please do comment below and yes thank you for watching and see you next time bye guys